Hi guys, welcome back. It's Lone Gamer UK, and we're back for some more uh, Transport Fever. Um, so the year is 1884. Uh, let me just. Uh, so we've got a warning about the Windsor Oil Refinery, and that's basically saying we've got too much product sitting up. That's because we're shipping. Lots of uh, crude oil to, to here, turning it into fuel, but we're moving that to London via these uh, carts and simply can't do enough. Enough. Uh... Now, what we did at the end of the last video was we built this uh, uh, train hub uh, with uh, eight tracks. Uh, we've been working on this line. We need to improve this to probably two trains, double track, etc. Um, but before we do that, we're going to have to probably sort out a fuel deliveries to London. So we've got the track already laid in. We need another train probably for this. So uh, we're, we're, we're making good money. We're up to 7 million so we can afford to do this. I probably will double bridge this and double track this station. I'm going to just pause the game while we look to uh, to do this. So first of all, Gonna upgrade this track to two track. Right, yep, so I was just wondering if I needed another no, I'll stick with two track. Hundred and twenty six K. Now we need to we've got the we've got the line coming in here. Now we could share the bridge and queue them, but I'm kinda of thinking it might be better. Got the money to just double track this. Let's uh, okay. So, um, uploaded some more mods, by the way. So we've got lots of other things to uh, to do. Although most of them will be. For later years, can I done? I'm kind of wondering. I think I need to. Take it back a bit further. Then. OK, so what I'm going to try and do. Okay, it does. And we can put in switches and get them onto multiple tracks if we want to later. And this might cost a bit. Doing the bridge, but. Thirty-one K. Now the problem we've got is I need to swap the tracks around. So that's why I pause again because I don't want the train. Do that. Okay. So if we bring this track around to there. This one there. Wonderful. Now, where have I got a uh, I think well, well I've got a wondering where there's a B 
build another train depot. I probably should have a train depot. Am I close to this hub, shouldn't I, really? Um, got one up here. That's, that's fine. We can use that one for now. So what I want to do is create a route from uh, line manager there to here back again so we're going to call that so uh, keep it red for for this fuel red orange with that and we'll call that the London fuel line okay now I need um, I'll get rid of these carts probably once I so what we need to do is buy a train now we could use this new one, quite hauling. It's quite expensive though, it's a lot more. This one's faster, a lot less horsepower. It's going up in price to get that one. We'll do it, we've got the money. And uh, we want to see different trains, don't we? So I'm going to buy that. And then we'll buy the wagons. And we want something that can carry our fuel. That can carry fuel. My only choices at the moment. Same things we're using for the oil, but uh, so let's put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go with seven. Set that to the London fuel line. No, it's just dead. It can't find the unable to find path to stop because I need to put um, cross cross routes in. Call them so. tracks now that should mean he can reach the right bit now I might need to put in Yeah. And I 
let's see if we can set this equal to five. Yeah, let's check the route again on that track so the London oil London oil is that This one is correct, but was... if we can get this to not find a route for it, can it unable to find path? Um, well, let's put it on that one for the moment. I'll see if I can get this train out onto the track and get him to the appropriate station and try assigning him to the correct route. Might be a hokey way of uh, doing it, but well. Turn them around. Sign him. Well, that's assigned him now to that fuel line, but it's waiting for a path, so. could be a problem I think what I'll do just to save waiting is I'll um, I'll bung in some double track oh, what am I doing but they okay track Just so the trains can Oops. like that. Oh, 
stop, stop. Again, here, another one, here. I haven't connected this back up. Okay. See if that works. Here you go. So in theory, if I've got this right, because the other train's coming over the track, uh, this is going to go maybe to the right and hold. There we go. We'll be playing a lot with the uh, track layout, um, connecting tracks up, uh, deleting them. Double, double tracking them, double training them, so we should now hold. Oh, isn't it lovely when a plan comes to the girl? Now oh, this guy is assigned to the right track now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That one's got eight. There we go. Our first double train pass. How exciting. That signal goes down and he's off, off and away. We're keeping some of these videos short, uh, short so that we can just do little uh, updates each video and keep them coming out. Um, I didn't connect that road back up sure it's really that important road okay. here's the normal road that we had normal street There's so many mods on here now, I can't find the standard stuff. Oh, I'll find that later. Okay, so. That probably means we can get rid of all these uh, carts. We just want to... So this should stay, I believe, on the right-hand side of the track. He'll come back. Well, maybe not. Now he might not pick up because they usually have to they have to visit both ends of a route to establish the routes. We'll let this train do its thing. Probably why we don't want to kill the carts just yet. So yeah, he's not gonna pick up, but he should now go to that London Not sure I've done this very well. There we go, we've got a train going underneath with passengers, 64, 64. We do need to concentrate on our passenger routes, connect up some more towns, increase these um, capacity, which we'll probably do when we get some new uh, options out. Still got the warning about the refinery. It's fine. This train's set to wait to be full to come back, which is good because it's only doing a one-way trip. 
Oh, that's good, he's on the right bit of track. Yeah, let's just take that up a bit. I can follow him along, we can uh, ride on board. Going through the glorious countryside of our European map. Twenty five mile an hour never looked so fast. Across the level crossing, past the factory, heading towards the London hub. So this will uh, just do nothing and then go back, but then that should start picking up fuel. Once we get fuel on board with the train, we can then cancel those carts. There we go, he goes on his way back. Okay, now that should establish the route. So, so that's done. So what we're going to do in the next couple videos is we're going to expand this hub. We're going to look at, I need to sort this uh, train and track out because there's the train over here. It's pretty slow. Um, it's not quite full though, we're not taking uh, maximum ca uh, catalog corn. I ca I've cancelled the drop-offs at these at the moment because we're trying to do too much. So I need to fix this uh, line up. Um, I need to certainly double track it and probably double train it so that we can. Um, uh, but what it's doing is it's um, bringing stuff to here, making food, and then we've got the food being picked up from here and run into London to here. But I'll probably do a separate train for that. Uh, so we'll do that in the next video. Um, and then we'll concentrate on um, looking at upgrading our passenger trains and therefore our profit and money. These tracks use the same uses the right hand track it uses this bit of track but I do have that set right what I'm also thinking of doing just as a, a little side thing we'll probably maybe look at this in the next video we've got another boat is um, set up a passenger boat route um, because we've got the bridge here we don't need to raise that bridge we've got no bridges until we get to Gloucester so what I'm thinking of doing is doing a Gloucester to Cambridge passenger ship route. In fact, uh, we could get that going now, really. Let's have a look. So we need to put a boathouse. 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 there and we'll put a harbour put a freight one a passenger one freight one passenger I'm gonna do a passenger one now we need to I'll do it there it really. could have been yeah, but so I think what I'll do is I'll plonk it now what's up so number of terminals do I want a two terminal one 
I've only got to upgrade these later. The difference in price. So, 200 odd K. Hardly any. I think we'll do a, do a double dock one because we can put a couple, couple boats on this route. Put it there, and then we'll connect this road up. Now, put all these. Where's the standard bits? Mod seems to have shoved itself in between all the standard bits. So. That's the small country road. They've not they've not put them together original ones these modern roads I could take this mod out but uh, let's connect that up okay and then what I'm going to do is do the same over here at Gloucester so we're going to look at our boats we're going to put in Bit of handy road there. So nicely here. Beautiful. So uh, we're gonna do a new route and we well, let's have it nice and blue. I'm gonna call this the uh, Cambridge to Gloucester. Waterline. Okay. Oops. Pick that. If this will make us any money, probably we need to wait. So that's that. Set up the route. Let's have a look at what passenger ships we can get. by ships okay passenger so we've only got uh, this one 50 passengers this one's 75 16 so let's go with the one this the the Frontiac it only just came out um, I'm gonna get two of them and I'm gonna set them to the Cambridge waterline we go and welcome to our first ships in uh, our Transport Fever series. Here we go, and with a hoot of approval, steams out. Now we can. I quite like that white. I mean, we we can. We can set the colours of these. Um, colour, so you know we can we can set it green. A bit, a bit garish, isn't it? The other one's going to go up the other end. I'll be fine. That will get the spacing right. Oh, that's quite nice with that red. Oh, let's go with that peachy colour. That'll do. So these are going to have to do a run up and down again. They won't be picking any passengers up yet. Uh, in fact, probably going to hold that ship. until that one gets to its destination which i'll do probably off the uh, off the camera um so that we get the spacing right so as this one arrives i'll set that one off i'll 
they'll pass midway and uh, be nicely evenly spaced and we'll see if that makes us any money now it should do because there's a fair bit distance between the towns but it's going to be fairly slow uh, going until we get better ships and they'll be costing us money uh, both for the uh, harbours and the and the docks but yeah so we'll uh, close out watching this uh there we go a nice watery ending to our video i think uh, what we'll do is we'll just watch it on the uh Very nice. Very nice indeed. I've right, got the same options. We can give these names. We can call this uh, the LG1 for now. We'll call the other one the LG2. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy these videos. Uh, there'll be plenty more coming. We've got lots of expansion to do. And um, we'll be back soon. Anyway, thanks for joining me. If you do like this video, please mash the like button. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe because you get notifications when I put new videos out. Um, anyway, guys, I will love you and leave you. And see you next time in our next exciting episode of Transport Fever. Thanks, guys. See you soon.